Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. We got a chance to go behind the scenes at a research and development facility in Germany to drive the all-new, all-electric 2020 Porsche Taycan. This is a late-stage prototype, so there's still some camouflage inside and out. Porsche's first all-electric production car evolved from the Mission E concept shown at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show. Output is impressive. Two permanent magnet synchronous motors, one on each axle, spin up 616 base horsepower to all four wheels. Jumping from turbo to turbo S models, that number goes as high as 750 when in overboost. Along winding German country roads, the Taycan moved like one of the brand's finely balanced sports cars. The optional Porsche dynamic chassis control and three-chamber air suspension kept us engaged and comfortable. The 800-volt architecture is serviced by a 93-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery stored under the floor. We're still waiting on official U.S. EPA range estimates, but expect them to breach 300 miles. Minimum charging time from 5% to 80% is only a claimed 22 and a half minutes. So we just finished driving the Porsche Taycan for the very first time, and this is what I can tell you. For those of us who like that nice pushback into the seat from a healthy dose of torque, the Taycan definitely delivers. The wave of torque is instant, it's strong, and it just keeps coming. But it is really about more than just speed. It is a Porsche after all, and it handles speed well. Out on the road, it felt very stable, it was very dynamic, it was very nimble, and the low center of gravity really gave you good contact with the road and really made the car feel planted, especially going through the curves. The steering is precise with the heft of a sports car. On the track, a product engineer did the driving, but even as a passenger, you quickly sense the power and abilities. That low center of gravity plus rear axle steering allows the Taycan to sweep through corners with the agility of an athlete and unbelievable balance. Porsche claims a Turbo S 0 to 60 of just 2.6 seconds. Up to 774 pound feet of overboost torque throws you back into the seat while rocketing down the straightaway. Top speed is 162 miles per hour. Engineers recorded and enhanced the actual sound of the electric motors so you hear a natural acceleration, but it also can be turned off. Still, and most importantly, the Taycan absolutely feels like a Porsche. We'll have more on the Taycan after we spend more time in it. Taycan will arrive in showrooms at the end of the year, with prices expected to start around $90,000.